Hi, how are you today? Fine, thank you. My name is Officer Carolyn Mitchell. I'm an immigration and adjudication officer here today. Do you know why you're here? I'm here for a citizenship interview. And your name is? My name is Thomas John Smith. Do you know what it is to take an oath? Yes, a promise to tell the truth. And you promise to tell the truth today? Yes. Please stand up and raise your right hand for me. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Have a seat, please. Can you please give me your present mailing address? 13233 Harbor Boulevard, Garden Grove, California, 92843. Is this also the same address where you live? Yes. Could I please see your green card and your state identification? Here it is. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a social security number? Yes. May I please see that card? Thank you. How long have you been a permanent resident? Six years. And what is your present citizenship? Irish. Have you ever used any other names than the name that you just gave me on your resident alien card? No. Can you speak, read, and write English? Yes. Have you had any absences from the United States? Yes. Can you please give me the dates? I went outside the United States January 1994, came back in February 1994. Was this your only absence out of the United States? Yes, only one. And your reason for the trip? To visit my family. Very good. Can you please give me your employer's name where you're presently employed? Law Office of Harry Bagby. And their address? 13233 Harbor Boulevard. What do you do for them? I'm a clerk. And how much money do you earn with them per month? $1,500 per month. And do you receive any type of public assistance? No. How many times have you been married? One time. And the name of your wife? My wife's name is Linda Marie Smith. What is her citizenship? She's also Irish. And where does she live? She lives with me. Do you have any children? Yes, one daughter. Is she born in this country? Yes. And where is she presently living? She lives at home with me. Can you give me the definition of organization, please? An organization? Yes. That's when a group of people get together to do something. Are you a member of any type of organization, social group, political affiliation? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined as a patient to a mental institution? No. Do you know what mental institution means? Yeah, that's a hospital for crazy people. Have you ever knowingly committed any crime for which you have not been arrested? No. Have you ever had any traffic citations? No. 
Have you ever been arrested, cited, charged, indicted, convicted, fined, or imprisoned for breaking or violating any law or ordinance excluding traffic regulations? No. Do you believe in the Constitution? Yes. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Very good. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance for the United States? Yes. And what does oath of allegiance mean to you? It means loyalty to the United States, not promoting communism. Are any of your parents United States citizens? No. Both my parents are permanent residents. And where do they live? They live at home with me. With your citizenship, you're entitled to change your name legally at no cost. Would you wish to change your name? No, I'd like to keep my name. Very well. Would you please give me your daytime telephone number where we may contact you? 714-530-9889. As a part of your interview, you have to pass an American government and history examination and also show me that you have basic English reading and writing skills. So what I would like for you to do is answer the questions that I have listed here for you. This will tell me that you know about your American government and history and also show me that you have your basic English reading and writing skills. How many stars are on the American flag? It's 50. Good. Who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. Very well. Name the two U.S. Senators from your state. Barbara Boxer and Diane Feinstein. One more, please. What was one of the main causes of the American Civil War? Slavery. Very good. Now you will see that on this paper, I here have for you to sign, actually excuse me, I need to be able to dictate and you need to be able to write out for me a sentence. And that sentence is that I believe in the Constitution of the United States. And what this will show me is that you also have, of course, your writing skills. So the sentence is, I believe in the Constitution of the United States. Thank you. Let me review, please. Very good. I'm going to now ask you to sign on your citizenship petition. What you are signing, of course, states that what you have now told me and everything that is in your N-400 petition is the truth and is correct. Would you please sign for me right here? Thank you. I would also like you to sign off on this form, which of course is attesting to your oath of allegiance to the United States. Please sign right here. Now these are your photographs which you originally provided to us. You need to please print your name along the top of the forms. Excuse me, the photographs. Here? Yes, right here. Congratulations. Thank you.